Team Fight Tactics just released their new set called Gizmos and Gadgets, and today I'll show you how to actually play this game and get good at it. If you are a brand new player or a returning player, this video is made specifically for you, so stick around to learn how to play the game that millions of others enjoy. TFT is an auto battler, meaning that their units do all the fightings themselves, and what we need to do is to craft a team that is better than everybody else's. We do this by picking a champion we want to have as our carry, and then put in support and tanky units that have the same synergies to buff up our carry and our team even more. To explain how to do all of this, let's start off by going through the game and then explaining what you need to do at every single point. We start off on what we call the starting carousel. Here we have 9 units with different items. In general, you want to take the item more than the unit, as we can't choose what item components we get every game, but we can choose which champions we will get with enough gold in the bank. After the starting carousel, we come to stage 1. This entire stage is player versus environment rounds, also known as PvE. The units we are fighting here will drop orbs that contain item components, gold, champions, and sometimes rare loot like Spatula, Nico's Help, or Tomb of Traits. Here we also start building our team. You will be presented with 5 champions in this shop, each costing gold. They cost either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 gold depending on how strong they are. On stage 1-3, they all cost 1 gold, as we are only level 2, and therefore have a 100% chance of seeing 1 cost units in every slot in the shop. The odds of seeing different cost champions change as we level up. Already on level 3, we start seeing 2 costs, and at level 4, we get access to 3 costs, and so on. What champions you pick up depends on what you want to play, but as a beginner, you want to focus on the bigger traits. Here is an overview of all of them. The ones I would recommend you try are Academy, Arcanist, Challengers, Chemtech, Innovators, or Girdles. When picking up units, you also want to balance having carries, tanks, and support units. If you played League of Legends before, you will have an advantage as the units play a similar role in TFT as they do in League. For example, Ezreal, Twitch, and Caitlyn are AD carries in League, and they're also attack damage based carries in TFT. Poppy and Alawi are tanks in League, and also tanks in TFT. Garen and Darius are bruisers in League, and in TFT they are a bit tanky and also deal a decent amount of damage. If you've never played League before, it will take you longer to learn what the champions do, but after about 5 to 15 games, you should have a good overview of them. On stage 1 4, you will be introduced to the set mechanic, which is called Hextech Augments. You will have the choice between 3 different augments that buffs your team in different ways. There are more than 140 different augments, so you will be offered with different ones every single game. The augments can do anything from giving you an additional synergy, to giving all your champions healing. If you're not sure which one to pick, a good rule of thumb is to pick generic ones so you don't get locked into playing a certain synergy or a carry. I will make some more detailed guides on the Hextech augments, so subscribe and stay tuned for that, but if you're watching this in a week or so, then it will be in the playlist down below. Once we get to stage 2, we get into the player vs player part of the game, also known as PvP. Here, it is really important that we optimize our board, as we will take damage here if we lose. The more units you lose by, the more damage you take, and this also scales up as we get further into the game. Playing a strong board is important if we want to maintain our HP. To get a strong board, we need to get stronger units. We do this by leveling so that we can see higher cost units in our shop. The higher cost the unit is, the stronger it generally is. We can also get stronger units by upgrading them to 2 star units. If you buy 3 of the same champion, you get a 2 star version of that unit. A 2 star unit gets more AD, HP, and their spell will scale up and become more powerful. If you get 3 2 stars of the same unit, it will combine all 3 2 stars into a 3 star unit, becoming very powerful and dangerous. To get 2 and 3 star units, we can press the reroll button to refresh our shop and get 5 new champions to buy. This gives us more chances to find the same champions and 2 star them. All of this costs gold, and it's one of our two most important resources in TFT. There are four main ways of generating gold. We have base income of 5 gold that you get every single turn. You get interest gold based on your current gold count. Here you can see that if you have less than 10 gold, you get nothing, but if you have 10 gold, you get plus 1. With 20 gold, you get plus 2. And the cap goes all the way up to 50 gold, where you get plus 5. And if you go higher, you will never get more than 5 interest gold. You get 1 gold if you win a PvP round. And you also get gold from either loss streaking or win streaking. The higher your streak, the more gold you get. The other main resource we have in TFT is our health total or HP. 
If we lose HP, we can never get it back. Therefore, it is crucial to maintain our HP as high as realistically possible. But taking damage is not necessarily bad, as we can use our health as a resource. In TFT, we can use our HP as a resource to get more gold. We do this by playing a weaker board. This allows us to sell units to hit the interest thresholds. On the flip side, we can spend gold to preserve our HP. We do this by putting money into leveling to get higher quality units, or into the refresh key to roll for 2-star and 3-star champions. This is what the rest of the stages are all about. It's about whether you should spend money to preserve HP and win rounds, or sacrifice your HP to get more gold and lose rounds. There are two basic strategies on stage 2. You either try to play for a win streak or a loss streak. I covered that in depth in my early game guide for set 6, which will be linked down in the playlist below. Another way of generating board strength is through items. We can create them with item components. By combining two of them, we create a base item that scales our champions and tanks. Much like champion categories, we also have item categories. They are tank items, damage items, and support items. In every game, try and build three damage items on your carry and three tank items on your main tank and you can always right-click on a component to see what items you can make with it. And you can also read what the item does by hovering over it. A common mistake that a lot of newer players make is that they never make items. They just let the components sit on the bench. This is lost value, as the items are not giving us any power whatsoever. A good rule of thumb is to make one item whenever you have four or more components on your bench. There are definitely exceptions to this rule. But as a new player, it's better to follow general rules to a T until you get better at the game. The item system in TFT is arguably the most complicated system in the entire game, and I will link a playlist that includes a video covering the item systems much more in depth down below. Once we get to stage 2-4, which is the stage 2 carousel, the rules work a little differently than on the starting carousel. Here only two people get to go at a time, and you can see that the units have different gold values. The bottom two players go first, then the next two, and so on. If you are tied in HP, it's completely random, and much like on the first carousel, a general rule for the carousels is to go for the item over the champion. Yes, in some cases you go for the champion, but those are relatively rare cases that beginner players won't be able to pick up on until they have more experience. The stage 3 and 4 carousels work the exact same way as the stage 2 carousel. Once you get to stage 3, the mid game starts. Here it is really important to have a strategy in mind. You have gotten more items and a decent amount of units at this point. Items and units give us direction towards a team comp that we should aim towards. So take note that if you have a lot of attack damage items, you should look to play comps that use attack damage carries like Jin, Fiora, or Urgot. If you have mostly AP items, you want to play units like Lux or Scion as the carry, as their spells scale with ability power. Understanding which team comp to go for can be difficult, as you will not know how to play all of them. So the best way to learn is to pick one, and only play that comp until you feel comfortable with it. My recommendation would be 5 Chemtech with Urgot as the carry, where the goal is to get to level 8, and then 2-star all the units on the board. This is called the Fast 8 strategy, and it's one of the main two strategies in TFT. The Fast 8 is all about playing for high-costing units, and then try to 2-star them. The second main strategy is playing 1-cost and 2-cost units, and then try to 3-star them. When playing for a fast 8, you are trying to get to as high of a level as possible, which will be level 8 in the vast majority of cases. This is done by focusing hard on your economy, by getting to 50 gold as fast as possible to hit the interest gold thresholds. Once you get to 50 gold, you spend excess gold into leveling. You will do this until you get relatively low on HP, typically around 40 HP. At that point, you want to level up to 8 and spend the remaining gold into refreshing the shop to get champions 2 starred. If you pull this strategy off properly, the goal is to level up to 8 on stage 4 or 5 and then have around 30 to 40 gold to roll through there. The second main strategy is called slow rolling for 3 stars. This strategy focuses on making 1 cost, 2 cost, and 3 cost units 3 starred. The strategy here is similar to the fast 8. At the start, you want to get to 50 gold as fast as possible, then level up to either level 5, 6, or 7 depending on what 3 stars you want. Once you hit your desired level, you start to spend gold into the refresh button while buying the relevant units in every shop. Once you get down to 50 gold, you will wait until the next turn to gain the full interest income. Once you hit the 3 star units, your team gets a large power spike which lets you catch up to the other players and be even stronger than them. 
A great team comp to slurl with is Yordles. Here you want to 3 star every single Yordle unit by slurling at level 6. And then you can use either Heimerdinger or Tristana as the carry. There is a lot more to the economy management than what I've mentioned so far in this video, and I will also make an economy guide that will be linked in the playlist below that I've mentioned multiple times so far. The final thing I want to touch on in this video is positioning. It is easy to understand, but incredibly hard to master. Good positioning is the difference between winning and losing fights in TFT, therefore it is very important. Here is a basic positioning overview. As you can see, the blue hexes are where ranged support units go, the red hexes are to bait out farthest away CC, like Blitzcrank, the yellow hexes are where our ranged carries go, and the green are where our tanks go. If you aren't sure whether a unit is a tank carry or support, a good way can be to look at their attack range. If it is one, they are almost always a tank or a melee carry. If they have two, three, or four, they are often support units or ranged carries. Here is what a basic positioning setup can look like. We have damage carries with Jin being the main one, and Caitlyn kind of being a secondary carry but also being CC bait. Oriana and Janna are support units, and the four bodyguards are our tanks. Like I mentioned multiple times, check out the playlist in the description. It covers all the things we've talked about here at a higher level and more in depth. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what video you want me to make next, and if you want to get better at TFT, join the Discord. We got over 3,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care, and see you in the next video.